Hey, it's Steve from Objects Unlimited. I'm here with the first Titan EXT 800 pellet extruder in Canada. Objects Unlimited is an authorized reseller for 3D systems for this pretty awesome machine. Uh, I've been waiting a few weeks to get this thing installed and up and going, and today we got it started. So we're running a test piece here. This machine right now, we have a two millimeter nozzle on it. We can go up to eight millimeters wide uh, for, for bead width. And right now we're slicing at one millimeter thick. Um, pretty impressed with the lack of build lines and the ability to finish these parts. This machine is the baby of the family. The Titan family has two other uh, much larger machines, but this one was specifically designed for facilities like ours, where maybe we don't have a giant production area. We have double doors, we have pretty wide hallways, and we have a shipping dock. With those things, you can install one of these machines in your facility as well. Now, what does this bring to the table? Fast printing. We can go thick and we can go wide. Uh, the material cost is drastically reduced because we're extruding from pellets. We're not using filament. We can purchase pellets from a wide variety of sources and we can use a wide variety of materials. One of the challenges at objects, although we can make very large models, is putting them outdoors and having a material that can handle exterior conditions. Now we can print, uh, this is carbon fiber filled ABS. We can print in polycarbonate. We can print in all kinds of different fancy materials. If you're an injection molding company, we can take the pellets that you use for injection molding, ideally, and in many cases, put them into this machine and produce an exact version of the part that you want in the right material. There's lots of great applications. We're very excited about this. Stay tuned for more stuff. All right, I'm pretty excited about this machine. So let me show you a couple pretty awesome features. So the way this machine works is pellets come from a pellet dryer. They go through an air hose into the machine. And if you come with the camera around here, you can actually see um, the pellet cavity at the top, that's put through a really high strength auger and extruded into a shape. So right now we're doing a test part. We're running a little bit slow. My plan is to run probably two or three times faster uh, than we're running right now. But you know, first print, we want to dial it in. Uh, you can see here is the pellet dryer. So this is where we keep our raw material, dump it in the top, out you go. It gives us so much versatility. We're able to, to use lots of different materials from different sources. Um, which really takes away a lot of the limitations on things. The other thing is that the cost of pellets is uh, significantly, significantly less than filament. Look at the size of this thing. This is solid steel construction. I don't want to take the side off, but if you saw the struts here, if you saw the simplicity as well as the uh, just the seriousness of this machine. There's no belts on this thing. Every every single thing is a is a you know, a, a worm shaft, uh, the material, the motion is controlled so tightly. Uh, I know I'm going to get high reliability. I know I'm going to get high repeatability. I know I'm going to get high accuracy. We're going to make some crazy awesome stuff with this machine. Objects is really specialized in small, full color, organic shapes. We do an excellent job on figurines and on smaller objects like that with a lot of detail, but we also make larger sculptures, larger mechanical parts, big frames, trade show exhibits, and prototypes that are beyond the envelope of a normal 3D printer. This machine lets us do it better. It lets us do it with better materials, it lets us do it faster, and it lets us do it with consistent quality. I talk a lot about speed and cost when I look at this machine. And you know that is the benefit of having a large scale uh, machine with industrial feedstocks like pellets. We can reduce our costs, yes. We can go faster, yes. But what does that mean? You know, Many times when we're quoting on large scale products, and many of our customers when they're making large scale parts, the challenge is lead time. There's lots of opportunities where we could have made a life-size sculpture or a, a large uh, installation where it might have taken three to 400 hours that we can now reduce that to 60 hours. That puts us in competition now with foam cutting. It puts us in competition with, with manual assembly and lets us make really strong and durable parts quickly. 3D printing is excellent when you have undercuts, when you have complexity and when you have organic curving shapes that are really difficult to CNC machine. This lets us do a lot of those things at once and saves a lot of time. I know anybody that, that's involved in sign making, that's involved in mannequins, that's involved in making uh, larger scale installations. You really got to take a look at this machine and what it can do for you. It's pretty incredible. Come and see us at Objects Unlimited. Let's talk about your parts and let's talk about your applications and see where we can put this thing to use. So we've seen recently on the market, a number of uh, 3D printing companies offering extruding from pellets. Uh, we see it from, uh, from quite a few places. And you know, there's one, it's one thing to put a, a hopper on a machine and, and add a little bit of a pellet extruder. 
This is, this is a very different animal. This is one of the most solid machines that you'll ever see now. For us, this replaced some FDM machines that we had that were a little bit older machines in our fleet. Here, it's open source. We don't use any proprietary materials. We don't use any proprietary software. We slice our files using Simplify 3D, which is a, a widely used software that costs $125. The consumable parts in this machine are the tips and maybe the build plate every six or seven months. That and material, um, I really think that this competes with a lot of uh, industrial grade FDM machines. And I think in many applications, frankly, it blows them out of the water because of the speed, the material cost savings, and just the size of parts that you can make. We can extrude seven millimeter walls. If I want to do a two millimeter thick wall on this, I can do it in one pass. If I'm printing with a, a smaller tip, you know, I'm doing eight or nine passes to get to get that kind of diameter, it, that kind of width in a wall. Each of those walls is one pass. Look at how thick that is. That's crazy. What that means, when you have a when you have a really thick wall, what that means is you can sand. You can sand without worrying about going through and cutting into the infill. So if we do a double wall and it's eight or nine milli millimeters thick, that gives you an awful lot of room to play to smooth things out without having to add material on. Something we've run into a few times with larger parts as we're sanding them is actually getting through the material into the infill, but uh, no worries here. Adds a ton of strength too, uh, a ton of strength. And we're not worried about material cost because material comes from pellets, it's pretty inexpensive, and we get the speed by going faster, going wider, going thicker. These parts are extrusion printed. We're gonna need a little bit of finishing and everything else, but this is ABS. If you see, and when you see the samples we make, and you see how minimal the build lines are when you're going at a really thick slice and at a really high speed, You'll be blown away as I am how, how simple it is to finish these parts using acetone, using sanding, using Bondo to make something that looks perfect. Uh, it's, a, it's a real strong competitor against other large scale 3D printers. I don't care what the technology is. Um, this is going to blow a lot of them away. Why should you buy from Optics Unlimited? Well, the answer is simple and it's in our mission statement. We're the experts that people trust. We spend our time running these machines. This machine is not stopping for the next two months. And if there's not a job that a customer has for us, I'm running something so we can learn it, we can understand it, and we can support our clients. You know, we use what we sell and we answer the phone. Every machine has problems at some point. Everything requires service. You need someone that you can call that can fix your machines, uh, get you operational, that stocks parts, that has factory trained service technicians, that stocks material here in Canada. That's what Objects Unlimited does for you on the equipment side. On the services side, uh, if you've watched any of our videos, if you've ever been here, you know how passionate we are about 3D printing and how much effort and time and love and care and skill we put into every part that we make. If you're interested in learning more about this machine, give us a call. Click the link at the bottom of this video. Come and see us. Send us part files. Let us look at what you're doing and see how we can help you. I really want to show this thing off. I hope to hear from you and thanks for watching.